Arsenal news today, ladies and gentlemen, the Arsenal transfer window is going to begin very, very soon. Today's New Year's Eve, and the transfer window starts once the clock strikes midnight. Now, I don't expect Arsenal to be that busy this transfer window, but I want to ask you guys, what do you think Arsenal could pull off this transfer window? How many signings do you think Arsenal will make this transfer window? And which players do you want to see sold this January transfer window? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section right now. Let's get the show started. We've got to talk about some ridiculous transfer rumors and some £100 million signing potentially. Honestly, I don't know what's going to happen this January transfer window, but it's going to be a good one. And I'm going to keep you guys posted. Everything you need to know about Arsenal, I'll cover it right here with the Arsenal transfer window. And on Vibes in the Six, we'll be talking about the rest of the Premier League clubs and everything that's happening around Europe. Let's get the show started. Yes, 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 people. What's going on? It's Eagle Talks Football, and we're back again with another video. And today, we got to talk about some crazy stuff that I see. I've seen some crazy stuff online talking about Arsenal transfers. So we're gonna get into we're gonna get straight into it. We're gonna get straight into it. And then I think the first place to begin is uh this crazy rumor that Arsenal might be looking to loan some players out this January transfer window. And the players that we're looking to loan out just don't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. This is absolutely ridiculous. So they're saying we're looking to, to loan out Reese Nelson, which makes sense, and Takehiro Tomiyasu in January. Yes, you heard me correct. They're talking about Takehiro Tomiyasu. This is this is what they're saying. The reports came out that Arsenal are open, openly uh, are open to letting Takehiro Tomiyasu leave on loan. What? What are we talking about here? Why on earth would we let Takahiro Tamiyasu leave on loan, especially in January? What are they smoking? What are they smoking over there? No one can rely on this source. This is a BS source. I would not spend too much time stressing over this. So I'm here to let you guys know so you guys don't have to worry. I'm here to let you guys know so you don't have to stress cuz they these guys are going to give us high blood pressure if we, if we if we listen to if we listen to everything they say. Then we're going to go to uh what what else what else was taking place cuz that's not it. Reese Nelson. Arsenal are open to letting Reese Nelson leave next month in January. Reports are that Reese Nelson has been linked to Sevilla. He's also been linked to Wolves. He's previously been uh, had clubs like Crystal Palace and uh and what do you call it, Brighton interested in him, would you be open to letting Reese Nelson leave in January? This is from the Sunday Mirror. They report, uh, they've reported this. So I kind of, I'm more likely to believe the Reese Nelson one than I am to believe the Tamiyasu one. I don't think the Tamiyasu one is remotely true. This one with Reese Nelson, I actually believe. I, I wouldn't be surprised. If you guys don't know, Reese Nelson has actually played less minutes than the likes of Emil Smith Rowe, he's played less minutes than the likes of who else has he played less minutes than who's barely played? Jorginho, he's played less minutes. He even has only played like I think 30 to 40 more minutes than than the likes of Timber, who was injured for majority of the season. So it just goes to show you that he's not really too much of the plan to be playing consistently. But I do think it would be ridiculous to let him go, especially since we don't have that level of squad depth in our attack, unless we're bringing in a major attacker. That's where we're going to have to talk about our next thing, though. Um, in, other, in other news, though, there is there is some other stuff that we're hearing. We're hearing about some rumors, and, and they're, they're all over the place. So with uh, let me just show you guys some of the things that we've been hearing. Um, we're, we've hear, I'm hearing that Arsenal are monitoring a situation for Ibrahim Osman, who, uh, from Osfer in in Norway. That is that is one thing. Also, there's some rumors about Crystal Palace are in advanced talks with Eddie and Ketia, and our big instigators that Arsenal are not planning to bring in any big money striker at this injuncture, as they are strengthening their midfield as a midfield priority. So Ivan Tony may not be until the summer. 
That is that is what is being reported by Alex Kruk, who works uh, who works with Talk Sport. He reported that yesterday. Um, Arsenal have already invested heavily in the summer and would seal would sell before they would entertain any idea of paying Brentford's asking price of at least 80 million. We also have heard from Fabrizio Romano and others that Mohamed Alneni is interested in leaving Arsenal on loan, sorry, uh, on a permanent to uh, Turkey he uh, to join uh, this club. I, I'm never going to try to pronounce that story, That club's name. It's too difficult. There also are three other clubs that are interested in him, two in Turkey, and the Saudi club is also interested in him. Um we had some we had some rumors uh, tw- uh, twenty hours ago that Char- Charlie Patino uh, is has gained some interest from the likes of Juventus. Although Arsenal might be still looking to potentially keep him at the club, I don't know if his future is at Arsenal Football Club at this moment in time. Um, Arsenal do not want to sell Eddie Nketiah, as reported. Ivan Tony uh, is still rumored to be going to. Uh, being linked to Arsenal, but the reports are that Brentford would like a hundred million for Ivan Tony, ladies and gentlemen. A hundred million for Ivan Tony in today's in today's market sounds like Brentford are just trying to capitalize on the fact that everybody needs a striker, and their man Ivan Tony is that guy that everybody is currently looking at. Ivan Tony, I wouldn't be surprised if he did make a move, but at this point, it looks more likely that it would be to Chelsea or somebody else rather than Arsenal. I don't think Arsenal are going to spend that much money at this moment in time. But we did hear earlier today that this uh, this was uh, this was what we were hearing earlier today. Reports coming out that Arsenal are uh, are investigating whether a deal can be done for Ivan Tony in January, as Mikel Arteta wants the Brentford forward and is now leaning towards a striker. For this uh, window, uh, this window. Honestly, we're he- we're just hearing so many different mixed reports that I don't know what to believe. I honestly don't know what to believe. One second we're hearing we don't want a striker. Next second we're hearing we are we do want a striker. At this moment in time, I don't think the people who are giving us the information even know what Arsenal Football Club want. So don't freak out. Don't go crazy. And I even seen yesterday somewhere where they're saying. Um, let me let me just find it. I seen somewhere yesterday where they're saying right now instead of Ivan Tony, some people would rather take Dominic Solanke instead of Ivan Tony. That they feel like Dominic Solanke would be more valuable to this team at this moment in time, as he is the in-form striker. It was Chris Sutton who said that yesterday. Let me just show you guys. Chris Sutton said that yesterday, and I actually seen an AFTV tweet about it. So that's what brought it to my attention. So Chris Sutton said that Dominic Solanke, as stands, is the best candidate for Arsenal. What do you guys think about that? Let me know. And yeah, that's it for today's video. I'm going to do these videos throughout the whole transfer window, give you guys quick updates. And I'm also going to do my live videos and my vibes from the sixes. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for more videos. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love for the love people. And yeah, so just to give you a quick recap, don't want uh, Tommy Asu to be going anywhere. Reese Nelson can can stay, in my opinion. I don't think we're going to get too many attacking signings in. And as for if we're going to sign a midfielder or if we're going to sign a striker, I don't think anybody knows what we're going to do. But yeah, I'm out of here, people. Love. Mm-hmm.